This video is sponsored by Avail. Are you a HGV driver looking for a job? If so, then create and log into the Avail app and start looking for work. Want to know more? Then download the Avail app today. Good morning, everybody. Welcome to my channel. My name is Luke. Thank you for watching. Hopefully, you are all okay. Dash cam footage, you'll be pleased to see. I'm going to try and include more dash cam footage in upcoming vlogs if I can. Anyway, how are you? Hope you're all all right. We have just hit a tree by the sounds of it. That was a low-hanging tree. Um, we're on our way to um, Trencha Trentham Leisure, Leisure Limited or something like that. But it's a bit of an awkward one. I googled it before we left and it looks like it's a complex of, of um, companies, basically. And it doesn't look like there is room for an Arctic. So, I tried phoning the store, there was no answer. I tried phoning the number which is on my paperwork, no answer. So I thought, Mm. what am I going to do? Literally, on the same complex is a garden centre, and we often deliver this sort of stuff to garden centres. I'm loaded with pallets from Nell Court. So I thought I'd give the garden centre a call and see what they say. So I phoned them up, and they said, no, we don't have it, because I thought maybe they would have it instead. Uh, they said they would contact the bloke and then get back to me. And to their credit, they did, and I have instructions. The instructions are go past the place, wait in a lay-by, and give someone a call. That's all I know. Then someone's going to come and escort me, which does not sound good. <laughs> um, lady boy I spoke to on the phone did say something about potentially going into the golf course, and that it was, quote, very tight. So, um, yeah, that's interesting. So we're going to be pulling up in about a mile's time, just over, and uh, we're going to make a phone call and be like, right, I'm here with your six pallets, because that's all they've got, six pallets. This could be delivered on a rigid truck quite easily. And, uh, well, yeah, there's the south entrance, look, to Trenton. Gardens, shopping, dining, experiences. It like, looks like a massive complex of lights, lots and lots of companies, and uh, does not look very truck friendly, that's for sure, in the car parks. So, We'll, uh, we'll have to make a call and get escorted into the correct entrance because I've got no idea where we need to go. No information on the paperwork. Postcode takes you directly to the main store and not a back entrance or anything like that. So, yeah. But that's the south entrance. I didn't see that on the maps. So that's new to me. <laughs> this must be the north entrance, the one coming up. Now, once we complete this delivery, we do have 12 more pallets to go to uh, Ellesmere Port. That's another company we've got to go to today, later on, and then we've got to go and do a collection as well of rebar to go to Peterborough, I believe. But that won't get to Peterborough today, we'll be parking up somewhere on the way. That's what we'll be doing. Okay, so this roundabout coming up is where we would turn left to go into the place. But I've been told to go straight past and pull over on the left. That is what I've been told. Yeah, this is the north entrance. Trentham Estate. Got a red light coming up. So, yeah, interesting. Where are we going? I don't know. Green light. Are we okay? <laughs> Just stop at a green light. Was you on your mobile? Probably. Right, so just pop up here. Apparently there's a big massive label on the left we can pull into. Lovely. And then someone's going to uh, escort us. We won't be going in there, will we? I don't know. We're not going to be going in there, I don't think. I'd be very surprised if we're going in through those gates. Right, 
let's phone this guy. What was his name? Duh, 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 duh. Ring Sam. He will come and lead you in. Hello, security. Hi, is that Sam? Yeah, speaking. Hello, mate. I've got a delivery for... <laughs> yeah, sounding. It'll be a bit tight getting round. but you can get an audit round, but I'll come round now and escort you. Brilliant. Thank you, buddy. Give me um, literally probably 10 minutes if I... Yeah, okay, no worries. Alright, mate, see you right. mate. Cheers, mate. See you, mate. Ciao, ciao. Right, 10 minute wait. <laughs> That's nice. Um, engine off then, I suppose. Even he said then it was a bit tight. Huh, how tight could this be? Right, it has now been 10 minutes. No one's arrived yet. We called him at uh, 11.06. It's now 11.17. That's 11 minutes. <laughs> he did say at least 10 minutes though, to be fair, so I am... Oh, there's a van pulling in now, actually. Could this be for me? Uh, I think so. Hello, mate. Oh, yeah, not bad, you? Yeah, there was. A bit tight, go over a bridge, to your right, right. There's all ticks that have gone round there, just. Yeah. You will be able to get so I'll just, I stick to the left a bit, it should be right then. Yeah, yeah. So where are we going? Back down that way, is it? That way. That way, okay. We'll go to the lights there, yeah. turn left, yeah. private road, the left. Oh, brilliant. Cool. All right, mate, will do. <laughs> right, so we'll follow him. Get out of here first. Oh wow, this is a bit bit of a busy road. He's letting us through. Go on, go on, go on. Yeah. Right, so we're going left at these lights, he said. Good place to park for the night, harvester just there, look. So we are going into a weight limit. I'm going to need to take up this middle lane to make the left, I think. Right, so I can see on the sat nav, we go over a lake, and I'm gonna. I think that's probably the um, the bridge he was referring to. Potentially, anyway. Right, we're going left here. Right, so yeah, I should be, if that truck can get in, I should be right. For the same length. Sometimes when they say Arctic's come in before, normally it's like with a, um, a smaller trailer, for example. An urban trailer, they call that. Take it wide round here. My beacons are on. Got a big old tree there on the left. Yeah, I'm glad he's uh that's caught me in, look, so I can know I'm going in the right way. I think we'll be going left. 
go around this bend and then turn left, I think. Are we going straight on? We're going straight on? We're going straight on. Oh, okay, I think this might be the bridge. Yeah. Yeah, I see the tyre marks. There's someone pushing a push jet. He's completely oblivious to the vehicles behind him. I might have taken that too wide. I watched the trailer swing. There's loads of room, to be honest with you. I think I might have just taken it too wide. Through the security gates. I reckon they'll be offloading this here, then. easy enough. The security bloke on the Lovely. Cheers, mate. I think the security bloke's actually offloading me. Not sure. Um, right, let's go and unstrap. Right, so we are in. Straps are off. Well, actually, most of the straps are off. But one more left to do up. Just doing the last one up now. Just got uh, this car parked a little bit tight to turn around in, I think. A little bit. Right, so obviously we come in that way. I'm going to uh, hopefully go reverse back, take a wider swing to go down here and spin round. But literally right next to where that tractor is, there are cars. So uh, yeah, try and take it nice and wide here and try and get it spun round. You can just about see under there, look. See those cars on the other side. Might be right. I'll give it a go. Just another shot of the car park. He's saying I can probably come out of here and go down there, but I think the trailer's going to hit that grey car. I don't think it's going to happen. Obviously, uh, I'm sure we'll sort something out. I'll get out of here somehow. Um, I think it's about an hour to the next place, give or take. So we should be there one-ish. Get the rest off. Should be a bit easier, fingers crossed. Okay, we have a plan of action. I uh, just need to put the postcode in for where we're going. I think the best chance I've got of getting out is by going down there and then reversing back, literally right in front of us, into that space and then driving back out. So that's what I'm going to do. Because so I don't think I can turn around in this little space, there's not enough room. If one or two cars went here, it'd be right. But they are. Yeah, no way am I going to make that. Uh, I might not even make this actually. my concentration face. Please don't move pins around when I'm reversing. They have asked if I, if I need help and I have said no. I said I should be all right. So it would be very embarrassing if I do hit something, wouldn't it? We're good. We are good. And out we go. Oh, 
And as long as we can get out of this bridge without causing damage to anything, we're uh, on to a winner. Look at this woman's face when she sees me. Here she looks. Oh, it's a bit tighter the other way. Oh yeah, it's quite a bit tighter the other way. There we go, thank you. And out we go. There we go, easy enough. That, that last turn was a bit sharp. We were literally all the way on the right hand side, couldn't go any further to the right. And then Nake on the left, um, the wheels are like that close to it in hitting the curb. And the, the trailer was actually over the fence, the overhang. We couldn't have taken that any wider at all. So not an awful lot we could have done about that. But uh, we got out, so that's the main thing. Let's get over these last, these last remaining bumps. These are lovely houses down here. Lovely houses. Let the car through. Why, why is no one going up ahead? Is there probably traffic lights, isn't there, on the junction? Thinking about it. Car coming to the left. All clear, let's go. Beacon's off now, we're on a main road, should be okay. Brilliant. We are through. These lights are gonna change, aren't they? Don't change, don't change, don't change, don't change. Yeah, hey. We are clear to go. Hey! Right, so I'm going to crack on now. I'll see you when we get to our next destination. Um, looking on the maps earlier, I've got to park up on the left and walk on in. So uh, go and let them know I'm here. Get this off and then uh, go from there. That's one of these garden centres. They're not always the easiest. Sometimes they're a pain. Right, see you in a bit. The Essential New Truckers Handbook is a book aimed at new drivers who want to become part of the industry. This book will guide you through what to expect in the industry via its 28 chapters and will help you understand important rules and regulations such as driver's hours, loading and unloading, manoeuvring and much more. This book also contains DVSA revision theory test questions and is a great read should you wish to gain some extra knowledge. The Essential New Truckers Handbook, updated and enlarged, available now. Link is in the description down below. Right, you join me a sketchy moment. I... I'm not 100% sure I'm supposed to be down these lanes or not. I think I've taken the wrong turn. I think I should have taken the next right and not the right I've done. I've already been driving down these roads for about a mile. And there's... I, well, I thought there was a road closure. It just turns out it was Mobile Works. Um, as long as the road stays like it is, it'll be okay. But it's not great. The trees are a bit overhanging. Half a mile is all we've got to do. Surely we'll be okay. I definitely come in the wrong way, should have come in this way. 
see that that tree is overhanging quite a bit. Two lines in the road now, so that's good. It means it's going to start widening and widening in ever so slightly. If I can get my words out. <laughs> Right, hopefully that was the worst of it. I think we're going to be okay. I don't know why I've come in this way. I've come off the A550. One junction too early. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> truck shouldn't be coming in this way. Basically, when we get around this corner, um, we need to turn right. But just before we turn right, if we go straight on, that takes us straight to the main road, which will be a lot better. Okay, yeah, so we're going to turn right here, but if not, on the way out, we need to go that way, straight on, not this way. Woo! That was uh, a bit of a clenchy bun moment, making sure that we uh, <laughs> didn't get stuck anywhere. Anyway, I've already seen on Google Maps, delivery straight on, it's the next left. I think there's a gate. I need to go and walk in and see them, I think. I think that's what we need to do. Hello, mate. Hello, mate. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, it's over, over that side. Uh, that side, is um, it? Do you want me to just keep an eye on the road for you? Yeah, I can do. No. Where, where do you want me? Actually, in. Literally on the other, other yard, basically. Oh, on, oh, back on the main road? Yeah, straight back. Oh, okay. I did see as. Um, yeah, I see. As we turned right, there was like another yard on the left. Well, it looks like he wants me there, which looks a lot easier. So it's just a case of going straight back. I mean, it does say deliveries over there, Premier Plants, which is where I'm going, but it also did look very tight, like I said, so... Okay, I'm glad. Glad we're going straight back. Now he's just running out to the road, making sure it's clear. Thumbs up. Loads of room. Lovely jubbly. So when we come out of here, we want to go left, not right. Lovely. Right, let's go and get these off. Right, we are in the second place. Getting offloaded. As you can see. Lovely dummy. Now, I have had a bit of good news. I've got to get a break in and, uh, and uh, they just said I can sit here for 30 minutes. So, uh, I'm now outside the truck, not doing anything. In fact, I'm just looking at the toilet. So, uh, yeah get a break in now while they unload me and then uh, yeah like I said from here we've got to go to um, Dock Road South in Liverpool get loaded with what I'm assuming is mesh 
or rebar. Could be something different, but I suspect it's one of them. And then that's got to go to uh, Petersfield. So we're going to make our way towards Petersfield tonight. Don't know where exactly we're going to park it. We'll sort that out later. Maybe Rushton. Parked there before. But yeah. We're here. It was a bit of a clenchy bum moment getting in, but we're in. <laughs> right, we are tipped. And we've had a 30 minute break. Very kind of them to let me have a break here. Much appreciated, because we were getting close on the, the old driving time, so just as well. Right, now, I put the destination into the sat-nav where we're going next, and actually we're not that far away. We're uh, seven miles away, 20 minutes. So, I'm gonna get out of here, and then, I'll probably just see when we get there. I won't actually record turning up. I was so lucky that actually it was just in here in the end I had to go, because uh, it's a lot easier. Now, can we get out easier? Because he said the road was... Oh my God! There's a water jet there! <laughs> There's a water spray there going. My window's down. Um, I thought I was gonna get soaked then. Uh, yeah, matey boy said that this road was shut or something. Uh, but he said, don't worry, it's not actually shut. So, and that's probably why the sat-nav was taking me down the other road. Because this road is shut, supposedly. But he said, don't worry about it, it's not shut. So, let's, uh, well, let's find out. Don't come out, don't come out. Thank you. I, I guess it's not actually shut there, because at the end of this road, we're turning right, and then we're out of here not actually shut. That's annoying, isn't it? Yeah, there we go. Okay, straight, see, straight to the end. I can get out, no problem. And there's cars coming down as well. Not actually shut. There is a sign here saying road closed though, isn't there? So if I come down this way, I would have been panicking. Uh, this looks like a horrible road to get out of. Clear to the right. I reckon I can go, I reckon I can go, sneak out. Go, 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 go. Loads of room. Absolutely loads of room. Right, I'm going to crack on. Like I said, we're only like six miles away now, so we're going to crack on, get there, book in, and I'll see you guys um, after we've booked in and uh, find out what we're getting loaded with. See you in a bit. Right, here we are in the docks. There's Liverpool over there. Can't quite see, but we are loaded. I'm going to go and get our paperwork now. And um, yeah, once I've got the paperwork, I'll also show you the load quickly on the way bridge. And then I'm going to crack on to Rushton, park at Rushton tonight. It should be there about half past six. Uh, time currently is uh, just gone half past two. And um, yeah, that's the plan. Let's go get our paperwork and then I'll uh, show you the load quickly. Okay, I can already see from here, that's my weight, 43, 360. I've got someone over there staring at me. I think they've potentially spotted me. Let's put me uh, put my boots on. Lovely, thank you, mate. Cheers. Right, we've got our paperwork. Can't really show you the load too much because uh, the, wow, there's another guy waiting to get in behind me. So, got to jump straight in the truck. Show you a quick look there. Look. That's what we got on. Let's go. Oh. Right. Um, I just want to get around here and put my hazards on. I want to take my high vis off. I haven't had a chance to do it yet. Hazards on. It's not really sunny enough for the, uh, <laughs> for the sunglasses.
Right. Handbrake off. It's all clear. Let's go, go, go. Yeah, so, um, obviously traffic dependent. I am hoping to be parked up between half six and five, unless I decide to park up earlier, but I don't imagine I'll park up much sooner than that. But I mean, we will see. Who knows what the future holds? Anything can happen. So, I'm going to crack on. I'll uh, see you later. There's another view of the load. Hopefully you can see that, just about. I'm going to crack on, and I'll see you in a little while. See you in a bit. Okay, hello. Welcome, everybody. We've been driving for an incredibly long amount of time. We got caught in traffic. And, uh, yeah, we are not even going to make Rushton. That's where I was planning to park up tonight. We're not going to make it there. So we're actually going to be parking up in Daventry. We've gone off slightly off route just so I can get to this parking place because I've been I parked there a few times before so I know I'm good Tachograph is flashing at me because it's saying telling me I need to have a break in 15 minutes time because we're on 4 hours and 15 minutes of driving since I left uh, earlier so um, actually no we did we did half an hour's worth of driving so we've done 3 hours 45 since I left the docks and uh, we're now on 4 about well, 4 16 is what we're on so we need to be parked up and having a break within the next 14 minutes and luckily we will because we're only a couple of minutes away from where we're going to park up tonight which is good uh the other issue is we've gone into a 10 hour drive um like i said we wouldn't wouldn't even make rushton on a 10 hour wouldn't even make that we're on nine and a half hours driving at the moment which is find somewhere to park up time so that's what we're doing um it does mean tomorrow morning i'm quite far away i don't exactly know yet how far away because the sat nav is taking me to the pin location. We want to go right, but um, I want to go in the other way. So I'm facing this way to come back out in the morning and then I can just turn left. There are a couple of trucks down there. So hopefully we can park up behind one of them or in front of one of them. Should be okay. Let's go around this roundabout. Lovely jubbly. And then in a moment, I'll show you the load as well. It's sec. So tomorrow morning, we've got to take this to uh, Peterborough and then get this tipped first thing in the morning. I've already phoned them up and they said they open at half past seven. So I think we're about an hour and a half away, I think. So we'll get there for, well, we leave here, sorry, it's about 6 a.m. tomorrow morning and get there for about half past seven. And then I already know what I'm doing tomorrow as well. I've got to pick up some timber from L Pro in Whiz Beach and take that down to Exeter. If I can get it off tomorrow, Bruce the bonus, but I don't think I will, but I'm gonna try. Definitely gonna try. Don't think we will though. And uh, that'll be in a different video as well, so that won't be in this one. I've got a white car, a white car's coming off, yes he is. Okay, I'm just gonna go left here. Lovely jubbly. I found this place because there's a builder's merchants down here on the left. And uh, I've delivered here a, a few times. Not for a while, actually, but I have delivered here a few times. And um, some of the guys there recognised me from YouTube, so that was quite, uh, quite interesting. But I have been here for a few times, and that's how I found this place out. <coughs> it's a Who's Grey now. I don't think it... Has it always been a Who's Grey? I don't think it has. Right, where are we going to park? Oh, another truck's turned up. Another truck has literally just turned up. I was going to park there, <laughs> but obviously not now. So I'm going to park in the middle. And the reason I say in the middle is because there's a, a runoff here for trucks to go on a bay there. And there's another area here. So I want to make sure I don't block these areas off. And that is why I'm going to be parked, because there's another bay there as well. So I don't want to be blocking either entrance, which is why I am in the middle. Uh, I'm also going to go on the path a little bit, because we're slanting down to the left. And I don't like sleeping with my head downwards. So we're just going to uh, get the cab on the pavement ever so slightly. Find the edge. Right, there's the edge. We want it now. I 
There we go. Right, so we're going to park up here for the night. I need to put some Ad Blue in the truck as well. We're flashing saying we're low on Ad Blue. And uh, I've got a couple of cartons in the in the trailer, um, in the side locker. So we're going to go and put them in in a moment. Maybe boy in front's opening up his doors, look. That is so then no one steals his load. Now that might sound uh, backwards, but it's because not really worried about anyone stealing his load, he's worried about someone slashing his curtains. And so if he does that, they can see what's inside and uh, determine whether they want to steal it or not without actually causing any damage to the truck. So that's what that's about. Right, let's go outside. Ah, I forgot to say, we're an hour and 20 minutes away from where we need to be in the morning. So we'll just pop down here, up here, and then straight to Peterborough. Hour and 20 minutes. So yeah, I'll be aiming to uh, to leave about six-ish in order to uh, complete that time scheduled delivery. So here's another close-up of the load. Let's say, got rebar on, strapped up, going down the bed. Lovely jubbly. So yeah, that's me for tonight. I'm gonna park up here and uh, crack on again in the morning. So I shall see you in the morning. See you in a bit. Right, good morning everyone. We are in Peterborough and uh, we've just been weighed in and we are in location where we are gonna be tipped. Happy days. Right, I'm just gonna put on a high vis. Mind you, I didn't see many other people wearing high vis, but we shall be safe nonetheless. Let me show you around. So we've just had to do quite a tight reverse to get into here. Tight because someone's parked that shunter there. But we managed to get in. So we reversed in from there into this tight little space. We're in, which is good. We're going to be offloaded with this yellow crane above us. So we've just parked along here. Someone will come along, move the crane backwards and forwards to the side and then take all this off. So we're going to unstrap all this now and then they'll pop it down in the necessary bay. I don't think we need to move forward at all. We should be okay. So yeah, I'm uh, going to go and get these straps off. Then we can get unloaded, offloaded rather. Okay, all the straps are off now and no one's come over so we're just, we're just waiting. I think I need to go back a little bit so I'm up against the platform over there. And then... Wait for someone to turn up, and then I'm gonna go find a toilet. <laughs> Need a toilet. Right, we've been here now for, well, for quite a while, actually. We've been sat here for an hour and 13 minutes, and uh, we're still not tipped. But I'm going to end the video anyway. That's gonna be the end of this video. Hopefully you've enjoyed it. Thank you very much for watching, I do appreciate it. I'm gonna start a, another vlog as well, probably later on today, doing the next job. And uh, yeah, I'll see you in the next video. Thank you for watching, do appreciate it, drive safe. Stay safe, and I will see you soon. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.